One of my most popular blog articles at MisaHopkins.com is about the sacred feminine, autoimmune diseases, and women's rhythms. That's what we're going to explore next. Hi, it's Misa Hopkins, Mother Misa, as some of you know me. Here at my channel, we explore the sacred feminine as it relates to healing and awakening. And if that's a topic that's of concern to you and interest to you, be sure to subscribe to my channel so we can give you regular updates. Did you know that the majority of individuals experiencing autoimmune conditions are women? Did you know that there's a correlation to the sacred feminine? There is, and we're going to discuss that in just a minute. But first, let's talk about the broad range of autoimmune conditions that individuals are having. They can range from type 1 diabetes to multiple sclerosis, RA, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, inflammatory bowel disease, or IBD, uh, Graves' disease, Sjogren's disease, Hashimoto's, and the list goes on and on, and it's been growing over the last 10 years. So it's prevalent, it's common, and I want to make sure that you understand the connection that exists to the sacred feminine for your journey of metaphysical healing. Before we do that, there are three things I recommend you consider in your journey as you are healing, and they are healable, by the way, as you are healing from these conditions. The first is I recommend you consider finding a functional medicine physician. Now, the reason I'm specifying functional medicine is that they tend to look into the root, uh, the physical root of these conditions. They won't be surprised when you talk about getting acupuncture, doing yoga, using sound medicine, or whatever you might be doing to enhance your healing. They're going to be looking at what they need to bring into your physical system that actually supports you in your healing. Everything from food to supplements to medications. So they're well-rounded in their approach to um, autoimmune conditions. So if you don't have a functional medicine doctor that you're seeing right now and you are you would like to explore that, it's easy. Do a Google search, look up functional medicine doctor's directory, and you'll see several sites with directories. Choose one that you like and do some research about functional medicine doctors in your area. Years ago, my functional medicine doctor taught me to do something whenever I was looking for a new physician. And she said, make sure you interview your doctor. That's right. Keep in mind that they're interviewing you. They're asking you questions about your condition so they can better understand how they might help you. And you can ask questions to understand specifically how they work. How do they intervene with their patients? What kind of success rate do they get? Think about the kinds of questions you would like to have answered. At least three or four good questions before you go in for your first appointment. And I recommend letting your functional medicine practitioner know that you have a few questions you would like to have answered before your appointment is ended. The second thing I recommend is that you get to know the energy medicine that flows through you. Every single one of us has some kind of energy medicine gift, we're endowed with it, that you can use to support yourself in your own healing. And when that love from you is expressed through the energy medicine that flows naturally through you, it's some of the best healing you can do for yourself. So whether that's a hands-on kind of healing, whether it's a visualization kind of healing, or like me, it, it's sound that works best, whatever it is, find out what it is. If you don't know, that's a good reason to get a healing reading with me because that's what we'll explore, the kind of energy medicine gift or healing gift that lives inside of you. The third thing is to understand the metaphysical reasons behind those conditions. And there is kind of a generic sense of the metaphysical reasoning behind autoimmune conditions. That's what we're going to explore right now. When I found out I had the onset symptoms of MS, I asked a spiritual master that I had done some work for to help me understand what was happening energetically with this condition. And he took me into a vision or journey. In that vision or journey, I was speeding through my neighborhood. It was as if 
I was flying around with no breaks, no pauses, no stops. And I came out of this visionary experience thinking to myself, oh my gosh, I'm on fast forward. I'm on speeding ahead, but I'm not pausing and resting. And I knew enough about the power of sacred feminine energy to understand that I was way out of balance. That speedy, fast lightning energy is sacred masculine energy at its core. And it's fabulous energy, by the way, and there are moments when you need it. But without the balance of the sacred feminine energy, I was on a crash course toward my own death. I knew it, it got my attention, and I started slowing down. I started pausing. I started creating more time for meditation, for engaging my sound medicine. And after I finished singing to myself, I would be still in the silence. I took more time for that morning cup of tea to really notice what was going on around me, outside with the animals and the plants. I was connecting to life. I slowed down enough to hear my own intuitive wisdom talking to me. I calmed down enough to find the pauses or the rests between the beats. And that beautiful combination is what allowed me to heal. That slowing down, engaging my own energy medicine, paying attention at a whole new level and reconnecting with Mother Earth all contributed to my ability to heal from MS. So what's happening metaphysically with an autoimmune condition? What's happening energetically is that we're at war with ourselves. We are often women who are on career tracks or we're living very full lives, we're raising our children, we're involved in our communities. We might have plans for our future advancement. We might be in a relationship with a partner. We might be maintaining our home. You know the story, right? We're creating our path in the world and we're preparing for our retirement and leaving our legacy behind. And to do that in this world often seems to demand that we, we forge ahead and we move at a very rapid pace. But what we also know as this sacred feminine is awakening on the planet right now is that we need to also be in touch with our sacred feminine or yin energy. And that energy is different. It's still, it's dark, it's slow, like a womb carrying a child. We create life through and from that stillness. So if we're not experiencing enough quiet, enough rest, enough stillness, we become completely out of touch with Gaia, with our Mother Earth. And all of her healing gifts, we're disconnected from her. We're disconnected from our circadian rhythms, as I talk about in my book, The Root of All Healing. And we have all kinds of strange, weird symptoms that reflect that out-of-touchness with Mother Earth. We lose touch with our spiritual gifts, the very ones that we have been given to use for our own well-being and for the well-being of others. We lose touch with those gifts and they build up as energy backed up inside of us. We lose touch with our intuition. We aren't hearing that small voice in the back of our mind or noticing our dreams and the messages coming through our dreams. Or maybe we're not sensing and feeling things like we could because we've closed down some of that empathy in order to be out there in the world doing things, getting things done, accomplishing and achieving. So those very sacred feminine qualities that the planet needs right now and that creation is calling for here on Mother Earth are being suppressed for the sake of our achievement. And of course, we know what happens, right? Our bodies get taxed, our, our emotions get pushed to the edges, and we're out of touch with our own natural feminine cycles, the rhythm and the magic and the wisdom of our menses, of our menopause, we lose touch. When we lose touch, there is a battle going on inside of us to help us find our balance once again. 
These conditions are actually pushing us to get still, to get quiet, to find the space between the beats. Now, here's the good news. It gets really scary when you start thinking about that. It's like, if I slow down, I'll never get it all done. I'll never accomplish what I came here to accomplish. And the good news is that the opposite is true. The more we slow down, the more we connect with our feminine wisdom, the better decisions we make, the more in tune we are. We don't have to try a whole lot of remedies. We're guided to the remedy that's right for us. We don't have to think through and machinate over what decision is best. We feel it or we see it or we hear it as we engage our spiritual gifts. We actually become beautifully more efficient. So if we want to end the war, the way to end the war is to engage our sacred feminine energy, reconnect with it because it's been generations and generations from which most of us and lifetimes through which we've disconnected from it. So we awaken it in ourselves once again. We find a new relationship with our sacred feminine. We find our balance and we live with greater ease. And guess what happens to that condition? You're right. The symptoms start diminishing. And as I so gratefully, thankfully experienced, they diminished until they were gone. That's what I want for you. That's the potential that lives right inside the very rhythms of your body and your natural calling to the sacred feminine. Here's my question for you. If there was one thing that you could do starting tomorrow, just one thing that would help you slow down and anchor into your sacred feminine energy, what would that be? What would you do? Would you start having a long cup of tea or coffee in the morning before you get started? Would you meditate? Would you take a few moments to go outside and pray? Would you just take a moment to listen to some beautiful music that puts you into a still quiet place? Would you take a, a short walk and really connect with Mother Nature? What would you do starting tomorrow? One thing that you could do, write that down in the comments below. And then if you'd like to see the article and read the article that I mentioned earlier, um, that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, Sacred Feminine Autoimmune Conditions and Women's Rhythms, you can read the article by going to the link down below this video. And be sure to scroll through the entire article, read it of course, but then when you get to the bottom of the article, check for the link that takes you to a free holding guided meditation. That meditation is a powerful ancient traditional meditation that takes you deeply into the stillness of the sacred feminine and will support you in your healing and your awakening. And then if this topic, if this exploration of the sacred feminine in your healing and your awakening is important to you, be sure to subscribe to my channel right here so that I can connect with you on a regular basis with more ideas to support you in your beautiful and powerful healing journey. Thanks for being here with me today. Oh, 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 oh,